Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Dodge Dart and your headlights do not work or one of the headlights doesn't work, guys, we'll explain what could be the reasons for that. Make sure you stay until the end, guys, because we'll be discussing three, I think, three, four different scenarios. So make sure you stay until the end. Quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop, including this generation Dodge Dart. We'll probably even have way more than 200 videos. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to your channel guys like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful and we'll be able to save you money if you even want to save more money on car parts tools anything like that check out the link in the description of the video below guys and you can see where you can buy all that for a really good price fast shipping as well i'll go ahead open the hood of that dodge dart and we'll start explaining what can cause your headlights not to work guys let's say it could be just left headlight right headlight or it could be both at the same time now Number one reason for headlight not to work is a bad burn bulb. Okay, and on Dodge Dart you have only one bulb for high beams and low beams. How the headlights work? Okay, this is the the bulb right here, and it has a it's kind of like a lens, like a magnifying glass, and it it moves it up and down. It has electric motor that actually moves it up and down for high beams and low beams, and if that bulb doesn't work guys okay one or if just the bulb doesn't work on the left side your left headlight will completely not work why because you will not have low beams and high beams because it's the same bulb for both the same thing guys will apply to the right headlight and if you want to see how to replace the bulb we have the video on the channel that explains how to replace bulb on uh, headlight bulb on dodge dart you access it through the fender liner we have the video check it out guys okay now this is one thing you check the bulbs everything it's fine but it's still not working make sure the connection is right guys make sure everything's plugged in and uh, that way guys okay the connector okay i can show it to you this is the bulb connector right here make sure it's not loose so inspect everything make sure everything's good you access it through the fender liner so uh, just check out the video how to replace headlight bulb on dodge dart and you're going to figure it out so <coughs> this is reason number two what about reason number three guys now some dodge darts guys not all of them will have up to three fuses for headlights one is for a left headlight one is for the right headlight and one is for high beams okay and if guys any of those fuses is bad let's say for the left headlight your left headlight will not work out at all right headlight if it's right headlight fuse right one will not work out at all like nothing will not turn on if it's for the high beams your low beams will work but the high beams will not work so some of them have a fuse but like this one here we don't have a fuse guys okay and the fuses okay you can check out the video we have a uh, it's called headlight fuse on dodge dart replacement and location are right here in the bcm module okay the body control module so check it out we have a video that explains that but if you guys have no fuses you had a bad bulb you replace the bulb and the headlight or both of the headlights are still not working what is causing that now guys pretty simple it is guys okay your engine or body computer disabling that light why because that dodge dart your specific model if it doesn't have a fuse guys it actually goes through the engine computer or the bcm this is the body uh, body control module the body computer guys and actually manually okay deactivates that light so it doesn't cause any damage but if guys okay if you had a bad bulb it could happen and how you do that you, you have to either clear the codes but if you don't have a, a scanner what we usually do i disconnect the car battery okay check out the video how to properly disconnect car battery because it's very important disconnect it and leave it for at least one night leave it for one night guys and it will discharge the systems and everything should be good after that and your headlight should work if it still doesn't work guys it could be a bad bcm and you will need a scanner to figure it out Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time.